Sorry I'm a little late, but I've got food. I didn't know what you would like, and I kind of got excited and wanted to try all of the options, and then I couldn't decide, and I got way too much. <laughs> but you'll have leftovers. Nothing better than reheated Chinese, right? I look scuffed up? Nah, I'm fine. Just some cuts and bruises. What happened? Okay, so, on my way here, there was this huge flock of birds sitting in the middle of the park-like thingy you crossed to get to the library, and it was like that movie, um, who the hell is Alfred Hitchcock? I was thinking, um, Birdemic, a cinematic masterpiece. You know, I think I'd like to be in a pandemic of birds. So much fun. So many things to chase. Anyway, I, of course, had to drop everything and charge right in. They scattered so fast. I managed to chase one of them up a tree, but I kind of got hurt climbing. I got caught by a bunch of branches and now my tail is all dirty. But I caught him. Are you proud of me for being such an excellent hunter? You know, if all else fails, I could provide for us. I'm serious. Well, only if you're okay with eating pigeons. Nature's flying rats. Do they taste good? Oh, hell no. They taste awful. But I haven't tried cooking them yet. A good sauce can fix anything. Anyway, what movie did you pick out? Oh, extra bad. One of those that can't be joined alone but are so fun to riff on? I'm ready. I'm acting more bubbly than usual? Well, of course. I get to be with my favorite person. Yes, that's you. You know, you're so silly sometimes. Alright, pick out what you want to eat, I'll put the rest in the fridge. Where do you want to sit? The chair or the couch? You want us both to sit on the couch? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. It'll be easier to talk if we're closer. Alright, I'm ready for some truly awful- Eh? Why am I so far away? Well, I wanted to give you space, but if you want me to, I can move closer. Closer? Wow, you are really close. No, I'm not blushing. I'm just- uh, You're- uh, the, Why did I go quiet? Well, I wasn't expecting you to just smush your body against me. It's kind of hard to think when you're so close. It's because you're cold? Yeah, you're freezing. It's too bad you don't have your own fur. It's so warm and soft. Like always having a blanket around you. Oh, is that all I am? No, no, I get it. I'm only good as a blanket, nothing else. I'll stop pouting if you say something nice to me. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're really cute, too. Hey, I have an idea. We should count shoulders. I've been practicing my skills. Alright, so, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, wait. I think I'm supposed to start on my shoulder. Let me try it again. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'm smooth, aren't I? Why are you laughing? Are you not charmed by my smooth moves? You're charmed by my dorkiness? Close enough. Well, that was fun. I'll just move back. What? Well, it's kind of hard to eat if my arm is poking right into you. I can't just eat with my right hand. I'll spill it all over myself. I know, what a shame. My face won't be bright red anymore. You'll live. Anyway, let the shit show begin. And play. Well, that was a catastrophe. 
a true clown fiesta. People put effort into making this. Someone, probably multiple people, reviewed this and determined that was good enough to ship. Incredible. Well, I should probably get going. It's a decent walk back to my apartment and I'm kind of getting sleepy. You want me to stay the night? Um, okay. Do you have a spare blanket and pillow I could use? Why? Well, I mean, I don't think the armrest is going to be very comfy. You want me to sleep with you? Isn't your bed a twin? We'd be smushed right on top of each other. What do you mean that's the point? Ah, right. You get cold easily. No? Then what? Y you, you want to hold me? I, uh... Okay. No, I'm not. It's... Never mind. Do you have any old pajama pants I could have? Well, I kind of have to cut a hole in them. Otherwise, my tail will get bent at really awful angles. And it will be really sore in the morning. Awesome. Thanks. I'll be right back. Alright. Oh! You're already in bed. Okay, I'll just slip in and... Holy shit, you're close. My heart? No, it's fine. No, it's not that fast. It's not getting faster. Stop laughing. You're not helping. Yes, I'm nervous. I'm scared shitless. I wanted to cuddle with you for so long and you're making fun of me and now I'm all self-conscious. And I'm so nervous because you're the first one I've ever been with. I mean, yeah, I sleep with a body pillow, but no one's ever held me. Of course I like it. I love being snuggled up to you. It feels good finally getting to be so close. You're really soft and cuddly. But I also feel really vulnerable. I've always closed myself off because I can't stand being vulnerable. Yeah, I know I'm silly and excitable. If I can keep things silly and fun, I don't have to open up. It's made it hard to be around people. My personality ends up being too overwhelming. I was too loud. I was getting excited over nothing. I was annoying, irritating. I had to rein everything in, dampen my personality for people to like me. It was so fucking exhausting. I ended up just withdrawing completely. But then you came along and you just kind of liked it. You told me it was cute. I felt like around you, I could finally be myself. I could just relax. Someone actually liked me for me. It made me realize how lonely I was before. How much I wanted to be affectionate. And holy hell, I was so bad at hiding how much I liked you. I thought I was being subtle. I did. <laughs> Buying you coffee. Meeting up for lunch multiple times a week. Asking to study with you. And then doing anything but studying. Honestly, it was pretty easy transition to dating because we basically were already. But it's been really hard to control myself physically because I've been so touch starved for so long. Oh my god, I feel so clingy. I'm constantly trying to make sure I'm not too touchy. I don't want you to think I'm annoying too. You like me being sort of clingy? You think it's sweet? I, I, oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, please hold me. Please don't let go. Please don't let go. No, 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 it's nice. I just wasn't expecting you to touch my back that gently. No, I'm not ticklish. Yeah, let's see how you like it. 
You're not supposed to moan. That's, that's, that's weird. Why you always end up embarrassing me when I'm trying to embarrass you? I'm not that easily to embarrass. You, you cannot call me your little kitten around other people. What? I didn't say anything. Yes, I am blushing, but that, that doesn't prove anything. You know, you're a pain to deal with sometimes. You do it because you love me? I think you do it because you think my reactions are funny. A little bit of both? Yeah, a lot more of one than the other. Hey, I told you, you can't call me your little kitten. Wait a minute. No, you can't solve everything by giving me ear scritches. Well, maybe you can. I think you should keep trying to find out. You like the way my purring feels? I like the way your scritches feels. Win-win. My heartbeat has slowed down? Yeah, it's been relieving to finally tell you these things. And head scritches help. I love you too. Good night. Hey everybody, Donley here. I hope you enjoyed this audio by me. And this is probably going to be the last outro to a video. I'm just going to end the videos there and then. So, you know, you're not jarred awake if you did end up falling asleep. Um, by, I mean, I still have a naturally low voice. It shouldn't wake you up, but like... The shift and tone and mood of things shifting could make you wake up. And I don't want that. So, big thanks to White Cat Audios again for writing a fantastic script. And, as always, sleep well, sweet dreams, and sleep tight.